Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. I'm gonna give Collected Merfolk another shot. The last time that I ran with them, it didn't exactly work as well as I had hoped, but I'm gonna be playing in Historic Ranked and see if we can get there. Now, I you have noticed if you've been watching me play for a while on here, I don't play ranked too often. And that's not because I dislike it, it's because my internet here isn't all that great. You've seen some disconnects if you've been watching the arena videos for some time. So, but, you know, as long as I'm in bronze, I can't lose any rank for losing, and in silver it's not too much. It does get a little frustrating when you get into a game, especially when you think you're going to win, and then you disconnect, and then you lose rank, which, to be fair, is how it should be. I don't want people rage quitting and getting anything off of that. But it is a little frustrating. It is a little annoying. Alright, so Tyone die. Oh my goodness. Uh, we'll keep that. This is fine. We'll make it work. Alright. Give the opponent the hello as soon as we get into this. Uh, today's games are brought to you by coffee, but it's really, really weak, so it's actually tea. <laughs> At least that's what I'm going with. Ooh, yes, we keep that. <sighs> Might as well play the land that has to come in tapped on the first turn. Okay, so Silvergill, reveal Silvergill. The one that gives them the least information. Draw a card, see what we get. Oh, okay. I do rather like where this looks like it's going. Alright, so if I remember correctly, I think I'm the higher rank one? I mean, it certainly looks like there's more metal on mine. Alright. Hi, hi, Thalia! Uh, that does not do much against me at all. Well, oh no, the first strike. The, the ability itself isn't that big of a deal. But first strike kind of matters. So, I think that what I'm supposed to do is play out Silvergill again. Play out, or show them Mistbinder. Alright. And just tapped. There we go. Yeah, let's not attack. That seems like it might not work too well. I can play... Well, depending on what they play here, I might be able to go double Mistbinder. But they're going to have another creature. Um, let's see. So, double Mistbinder would give me... Oh, jeez. Never mind. Now it has three. <laughs> Yeesh. That's not great. That's not great at all. Okay. Ooh, but they're attacking. All right, human tribal, let's go. Yeah, now I'm tempted to just do this. And wait a second, sacrifice two human. Okay, we don't we don't care. Exile target creature. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Play one out. Play the other out, and then let them make the trade. Thank you. I appreciate that. Mine is the better Lord deck, though. Though, Thalia is a better hate card than anything that I have. I have things like Water Trap Weaver and Merfolk Trickster and Mirror Reachery to tap down creatures mostly, but, you know, that doesn't help you against Wrath of God and Cleansing Nova, Kaya's Wrath. Bantu's last break. <laughs> you get the idea. Oh boy. Okay, hi Shep. Oh boy. Okay. Water Trap Weaver, tap down... Oh boy. Tap down Shep... Mm. Try this. This does seem a little odd, though. Alright. Like, they know I have a trickster now. And they can't respond with anything because they have Thalia. Not that there's very much they can do on one mana in this format, anyway. Okay.
So I can do this, which gets rid of the buff. So Thalia dies. I lose a lord, though. Unfortunately, I do lose a lord. Oh, did I lose? How did I lose both lords? Oh, cause first. Oh, cause it lost the buff from the other one going away. That's right. That's right. Oh my goodness, Jay. It was probably still the right thing to do anyway. I still have, by a substantial margin, the better board state, and I have two more combat tricks in hand, and they're playing creature deck, so they can't run wraths. Uh, so I think that was probably still the right play, but good grief, that hurt. Maybe they're just thinking. Oh, yep, okay. They're not salt roping me on, on one. Ugh. Yeah, I, I don't envy them the spot. Dire tactics. Uh oh. Good game. Okay. Give them the good game. Oh, I missed. Somehow. <laughs> Touch screen. Okay. Oh, I was bronze too. Alright. Well, we'll keep going, I guess. Why not? <laughs> Why not? So, that's Merfolk, even when you're not piloting it all that well. Uh, you can still eke out wins like that. Let's keep it going. So, my reasons for playing this a lot are I generally like the game. It's much more accessible for me to play than Paper Magic nowadays. Um, Michael1916 with his uh, content creator brew off, having neat little decks to show off to him and on his stream. And ranked, even if I don't get to play too often, and it gives me something to play against patrons on the channel. So I, I have it for a few reasons. Oh boy, I just kept... Oh. Oh. I better find a two drop, or land. Huh. Okay. Well, that's sound. I'd like to talk to whoever did the sound design on that. To be fair, the most common CMC for a creature in my deck is two, so there's a decent chance we'll find one. It is a collected company deck, as you can see. I do try to keep it at 2 and 3 because of that. Aha! Why be good when you can be lucky? Alright. Hmm. Alright, let's just do it. We can find a land, the next turn we can play a Mirror Regery and get Mistbinder out of uh, Lava Mancer range, out of Shock range. Or Pillar of Flame, that could do it. Uh oh. Hmm. Hi, y'all. Okay. As expected. I do like this sort of mono red control thing they have going on. Ooh. Uh, we need another land more, though. Bird in the hand, I know, but I could really use that. Alright, so what else is dead? Kill the branch walker, next turn kill the speaker. Oh, okay. I don't know that I like that too much. Uh, although I guess it might speak to how much they have in their hand. That they don't have to worry about that. It means I'm going to want to use Water Trap Weaver before the, um, the Regery, just to make sure it'll survive. Alright, what you got? Oh, interesting. Alright, now Branch Walker's about to die. Alright. Oh, and me! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that doesn't usually bode well for me. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm at a virtual nine. No, not not yet. Probably though. Pillar of flame at me. Now I'm at a virtual seven. Uh oh. Uh oh. I need a land like now. Uh oh. Okay, they're one shy. They are one shy. Okay. Let's see what they have going on. Um. Yeah, let's do it. Finalement. Finally. I don't think that matters too much. Everything else could potentially do something. That does not. Alright, there are three. Am I dead? I'm at four. Once they activate it. I'll probably be at two. Well, if, if I'm at two, I'm dead. Um, so if they, this card or the next card happens to be something that targets me, I'm dead. Oh wait, there's Ramanop. So Ramanop is on. Uh oh, did I have three? That's okay, almost there. Oh, they were saying, okay. Okay, I was so scared the good game was they beat me. All right, okay, that was neat. That was neat. Ramen Up Ruins. I honestly like the card. <laughs> Even though I don't think I've ever played with the card. Not that I remember. I still actually like it's. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of cards like that. Which makes me the only one. I like Thought Seize no matter which side of the table I'm on. I like uh, Teferi. I kind of like Oko, but I, I played with Oko too in Modern, so that's cheating. <laughs> I liked Oko because they got to play Oko, I suppose. Um, I, I say that. I think Oko should have been rewritten, but this isn't Hearthstone. Uh, Teferi, I genuinely think, is fine the way it is. Which puts me alone, I know. Okay. It's one of those, you, you don't care about Teferi unless you're the kind of deck that really cares about Teferi. Hello! Oh, oh, okay. I can live with this. One of the joys of playing a deck like ours is that it's redundant enough that, regardless of which card they take, it doesn't usually make that much of a difference. Generally speaking, Collected Company is the best card to take, followed by a Lord. Um, well, speak of the devil. Uh, well, I guess we'll just dig through the deck a little bit, see what we can find. It's, oh, it's a trickster. Um, sure. I don't know that it'll come in that much handy, though. Oh jeez. Is this the Bolas deck? The God Pharaoh or Dragon God Bolas deck? <sighs> I was looking over Cruel Ultimatum and I was remembering how depressingly bad that card was. Alright. Fire. I still don't have a pet because I haven't spent any actual money on this game. Oh, okay. Better to get that out of the way now before it comes time for the serious spells. I missed that. What happened? Oh, it just passed to me. Alright. Unfortunately, it's about to reveal that I have Coco. No, I have Murfolk Trickster, so they might think that that's the card I have in hand. 
Ah. Ah. All right, tap out, pirate dino. I've played you before. Ooh, we are doing this now. Let's go. Mistbinder Branch Walker. All right. Okay. You spent one card, I gained two. The Devil versus Coligon's command. Thought, okay. Huh. I would think that Branch Walker's the one to take. No, Trickster. Okay, so they might have like a Wrath in hand. That's important because it's you can't deal with Murphy Trickster with sorcery speed removal. Alright, let's fire away. Alright. Scry first. Oh, hi. I do want to be careful about overextending my hand, but they do already know about that card. Ionize. Okay. Um, we have lethal in two regardless, so I think it's fine to pass here. I don't want to play into their removal. Oh, hi, Ravager. That's easy. Oh, hi. Well, I mean, they don't have enough mana to transform it, so... Ta-da! Maybe I was only half right. Oh, good game. Not yet. They might have something in hand. They have one more... No, they don't. Okay. Good game. Lucky top decks. <laughs> um, cards that got me out of that spot. Trickster and Water Trap Weaver, which are both four ofs, but... You know, we'd seen one of each already. I will take that. That was fine. That was fun. <laughs> okay. Well, happy day. See, this is already doing a bit, giving us a better showing. Before we move on to the last one, I have a few packs to open real quick. So, let's try Ikoria first. I'm actually going all in on Ikoria because it has the most cards for which I'm looking right now. Speaking of... That's kind of one of them. Uh, in my opinion, that's the worst of the ultimatums, but it's also the only one for which the Triland I have is a four of. So I may have to try to make it work. Huh. Okay. Well, that's fun. And then as for the rest of this, how is this my first of you? <laughs> uh, we'll open a few more. Let's actually do Amonkhet next. Doesn't matter, we'll, we'll get around to the rest. Alright, let's see what I end up getting. Unburden, good. I was looking for that, so that saves me a card. Also something for which I was looking, uh, because of another one of the ultimatums, the Obzon one. Uh, Eerie Ultimatum, I believe. Uh, this is a cycling creature, and Eerie Ultimatum lets you get creatures back from your graveyard. Bunch of them. One way to get them in your graveyard is cycling, so that's fun. <laughs> Alright, last one. Music change, I dig it. Alright, so far, nothing crazy. Colossal Dreadmaw, meme card. Okay, well I got four Sanctum of Alls, never having spent a wild card on them. In fact, I think I've opened all of them from packs on camera. That Well, that might not be true. Certainly I've opened a number of them on camera. So now I, and we can check just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure that's my fourth one. Collection... Sanctum. You know what? Next video, a Sanctum deck. I'll figure out a way to make it work. <laughs> I mean, why not? <laughs> Everyone knows how that deck goes already, but I'll try it. Alright. <sighs> Let's keep it going. I'm only not even halfway done with the uh, um, about a third of the way done with the quest, and I'm almost out of coffee. Tea. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I like the curve. It's a Luris deck, so it is a creature deck. Ah. Uh. 
whale. Branch Walker's probably the card. Yeah. Without knowing anything else about their deck, Branch Walker's the card. <sighs> Maybe I should have played the speaker out. But now I don't have a two draw. Oh! Okay, we'll just do it. I don't feel great about this game, folks. I don't think this one's going to work out too well for me. Oh! Oh no. Oh no. Wow, that is loud. I just realized that. Here, let me crank that down just a, just a bit. All right. Okay, well they already know about the island. It's probably Water Trap Weaver, tap down the Arcanist. Swing in. Alright. Keep them from trying to get that value. Alright. That's to be expected. They want that card in the graveyard, after all. Hmm, okay. Priest? Oh! Oh, hi! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! They're not getting a lot out of that Pyromancer. <laughs> it doesn't look like they are. Okay. Silvergill Adept. Alright. Time to go big. I'm widening the field for priest effect. Okay. Very good. Alright, so priest would have to sack both of them. And that doesn't seem like something that they'd want to do. Oh, wait, if they do though, they can get Luris out this turn. That would be interesting. No, no, too late. Okay. Um, I don't know that I need to do that just yet. I have one more mana. Regery, I think, is right. Let's see, if I tap down with Water Trap Weaver, I can force them into it early. No, okay. This is, this I think is better. All right, here goes. It's still loud. Good God. Right. Okay. Okay, and then use Priest. Sack both of them, make me get rid of a creature. Okay, what's it going to be? I think it has to be the Silver Guild. All right. Okay. I got to draw a card. Wait a minute. No, it's fine. Okay, hi, Luris. But they know that they're dead. No, they don't. No, they don't. Oh, now it's a 5-5. Very good. Very good. All right. So the game plan is I use Water Trap Weaver, tap down Luris so they can't gain life. Oh, but they have Priest again. And then I attack through after tapping down... Okay, here we go. I think this is right. Alright. So we're going to tap you down. Alright. Here we go. And then no matter what they sack, they're dead. Okay. Got him. The one that was already being blocked. Alright. Hey. Woo! This is already a better showing. We're in silver now. Yay! Keep it going. And I'm at what? 19 lands, I believe? 19 lands having been played? 
Okay, so I guess we'll just keep showing the deck off a little bit. Normally I play only to four, because that's when you start getting those diminishing returns, but you know what, let's keep it going. Why not? Why not? It's surprising to me the four ups that I get when I just randomly open packs like that. I ended up getting four Ruinous Ultimatum, I believe as my first, maybe second four of from Ikoria. It's either that or the Bug Trihome. Triland. Razazil. Razazil. Raz. Alright. Yeah, I'll keep it. That looks fine. Alright. So, play the temple first. Uh, I mean, that's fine. Without knowing what my opponent's on, that's probably okay. I would like to dig to something better, but I also have Ranger to help me with that. Alright. Here goes. And I have Silvergill as well. I'll take the bird in the hand. The fish in the... Hand. Fish in the net. Alright. Um, that looks like it's the most natural one. The one I would play next turn. And so I think it might end up giving the least information. Plus, it's generally not all that impactful. Oh, okay. Huh. Is this Mono Blue Tempo? Maybe? Like the uh, Tempest Gen? deck? Uh, Curious Obsession? That deck? Oh, no, not yet. Hiya. Okay. Alright. Let's see. What do they have? Nope. Okay. Since it's mono blue, I don't think that Kapala will end up doing that much, so let's just play on curve here. This is going to get countered. Okay, that's fair. Hmm. That's okay. I think we're still doing alright here. Plus, our Lord didn't get countered. If I need to do another bait spell, I can play off Kapala next, because Kapala, again, isn't going to be that big of a deal for this. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. They're not going to make the trade here. Unless they have a Spectral Sailor in hand, then they will. In which case, I can tap it down. Okay. That's fine. Is it? Okay. Yep. Okay. Um... Okay, I'll play a Trickster first. Like, I, I clearly just gave away that I had Trickster going on. Okay, uh-oh. Kept it. Okay. Is it a race to Tempest Gen? Um, let's try this. We might get them to use up one of their counter spells. If they let this through, though, we'll tap it down and save ourselves a little bit of damage. I'm sure they would rather use the mana to draw a card, if at all possible. Yep, that's the one. Not that they can do it this turn, but not that they would do it this turn either. Okay. Uh, I want to be careful about not playing too patiently. Lofty Denial is a card, but this plays around Quench, or Quelch. Lofty Denial. Um, that 
is quite a bit. What are the odds they have another one? Guaranteed, apparently. Yeesh! Okay. Well, wrecked, I guess. Ah. <laughs> well, wrecked. <gasps> there we go. There you are, buddy. I knew you'd show up. Okay. So now, if we want to get past that thing, our work's cut out for us, I'm afraid. Oh, sorry. Alright, before they have a chance to draw another counter spell, let's do it on their upkeep. Let's try to do it on their upkeep. Alright, tapping down the Jin. Which does admittedly give them a chance to draw another card. I don't know that there's that much I can do about it, though, unfortunately. Okay, never mind. Unless they find another land. Oh, okay. Do they find another Jin? A Storm Tamer. I can live with Storm Tamer. I'm not a deck that targets them anyway. Um, Water Trap Weaver. Merfolk Trickster. That's about it. hi -ya. Okay. I think I'm just supposed to go super duper wide here. I think. I'm just supposed to set up so many creatures that they aren't able to get around me. They can't afford... Okay, I was about to say they can't afford to use Spectral Sailor here, because they need the mana for cantrips, interaction. Okay. Well, they're tapped out, so let's do it, I guess. Hi-ya! We may have just snuck that one through. Because look, if they block the two biggest creatures, they take seven damage, go to one. They still won't be able to tap to block with Jin next turn. And they can't afford to let the Biomancer through, so they can't even trade. But they're still in. Maybe they have some sort of bounce spell, mass bounce spell. Or maybe I'm just overthinking this really, really hard. <laughs> Alright. Good game. They probably did their best. That was tricky. That was tough. The double Lofty Denial on the double Merfolk Mistbinder was, was pretty good. What can you do? Unfortunately, not a great deal in that spot. Mad Ratter. Okay. I mean, I, I, I guess it's a cool card. We'll keep going. I'm a little bit tempted to play another deck. Maybe brew up Sanctum on the spot, but no, we'll save that for next time. Maybe. Yeah, it'll give me some more time to build up some wild cards. Build up some cards I might use. Uh, in Historic, I have at least one copy of all of the shrines, so that's probably enough, but I think you need... I don't know how many of the green one you need, but it's not one. The one that makes mana? There's no way that one's meant to be one. Okay, uh, sure. They go first, after all. And I have a scry land as well. We might start off a little bit slow. Oh, hi, Goro! Like, Mortal Kombat! Yeah, let's do this first. Let's find the land. Or not! Oh, but it's so good! No, I have to pass. Even with a branch walker, I think it's better to pass that up. I have collected company. That's usually one lord. Oh, I saw a crater hoof. I saw a crater hoof. I am scared. <laughs> Alright. So we'll go Silvergill into branch walker. Maybe that should have been branch walker first. Although it wouldn't have made a difference. In that case. That's alright. That's alright. Cathartic Reunion. Uh-oh. Oh, hi! Hi, Umburial Rites! 
I think I see what this deck's trying to do. Just maybe. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, get the damage in while we can, I guess. And make sure to hold up Trickster for forever. The rest of the game, Trickster has to stay up. Okay. Um... It doesn't matter, I'll do this now. I say rest of the game, not yet. Because now Crater Hoof's not lethal. It will be soon, but not yet. Forest, play out speaker. Alright, hit for two. So now I'm regretting <laughs> putting the Miro Regery down. Alright, so now they can... Yeah, now they can do it. Oh, it's Massacre Worm! I didn't even see that! Okay, I couldn't have stopped that with uh, Trickster, though, unfortunately. That's a shame. Okay. So, let's see. So the next thing is... Biomancer, hold up Trickster, I believe is correct. Hmm. Okay. Okay, that's okay. What is that? Oh, okay. Yay for Reanimator! Woo! Also, playing Biomancer hides that I have a Trickster, because they see that ability. Man, they are just going all in on it. Scholar of the Lost Trove. Oh my god. <sighs> Alright. I'm going to do my best to figure out a way to work through this. But, uh... <laughs> wish me lots of luck, folks. Alright. They're going to double block with the suppliers. And I will be okay with that. Platinum Angel, uh-oh. I can still beat it with Merfolk Trickster, but... Ooh, that's... that's tricky. In turn. Huh. Okay. Alright, see, when they find another one, not yet, somehow, miraculously, not yet. Oh boy. They have built a wall, officially. Alright, let's see what I have. That's not great. That's not spectacular. Well, I want to be careful about this. If I run out of tricksters, I'm in trouble. How many cards do they have left? 22. I'm sure there's another one they're getting to. Okay. There's not even a point in attacking here. That's something. Okay. All right. Pass turn. That's something I can do to hold Massacre Worm down for a little while. Two cards in hand. All right, let's see. Double Water Trap Weaver. Ah, uh, and a Jade Light Ranger. Sure. Do this. Okay. It doesn't have Defender. It's like Spell Sky. You would think it has Defender, but it doesn't. Oh, hi, Scholar. Oh, dear God. Good game. Okay, I'm, let them play this out. I'm not going to concede. This is fun. <laughs> this is hilarious. All right. Whee! <laughs> okay, that was pretty neat. Ah, uh, I lost a bit. Oh well. At least it wasn't to a disconnect, so that's fine. <laughs>
<laughs> I can live with that. But that that was pretty cool. Alright, let's keep it going until we hit 40 lands, which means I have a little bit more to go. Chomper 1. Hi, Chomp. Alright. Sure. Okay. Hmm. Normally I like to play the temple first because it's required to come in tapped. In this case I'm going to play the territory first. Try to play out my hand as quickly as I can. Plus I don't want to cash in the Skyland just yet. I don't have an idea just yet for what I'd like to spend it on. Alright. And give him the hello. Okay. Play that out. Hit him. Ow. Um, yeah, play them both, I guess. Alright. Here goes. I, I do think Merfolk is one of the better Coco decks in Historic. Hmm, okay. I think it's safe to play Mistbinder, but I do want to be careful about dedicating too many of my resources to the board. Um, Biomancer's fine. Yeah, Biomancer's fine. There are only two in the deck, and when you just have an excess of mana, they can help you filter into relevant spells. I've seen plenty of decks use Jay Bearer instead, which might be correct. It puts a plus one plus one counter on another Merfolk you control. Otherwise, it's a pipsqueak. That one tends to help you out earlier in the game than Biomancer does. Oh, hi, buddy. Uh oh. I don't like the look of that. Alright. Alright, Miss Binder's down. I think. I think that's what's about to. Oh, it's a Shark Typhoon. Oh, X equals 1. Okay. Blockers. Let's do this so that we don't have to dedicate to the board. Uh, this is fine. All right. Do they have a wrath? Bantu's last reckoning. Shrekening. Bantu's last reckoning. Actually, that wouldn't really save them. They die on the next turn. Languish. Ah, good game. Ah ha, I see what you did there. I do that too. If I'm at three life, it's Fetch Shock. Not in Historic, of course, but... Alright, so so far I think our record is that we've only lost once. So far? So far, he says, knowing he just jinxed it. What are you doing, little buddy? I have the window open for five seconds, and you want to jump in. Alright. Get out of here, get out of here. <sighs> what can I say? It's hot in here. Right. Wiz Wizard Poker. Wizard Poker PhD. Wiz. Alright. Ah, uh, this is fine. Lots of draw power. I can definitely live with this. The hello? I do wish I could end up being on the play a little bit more often. Oh, God. Okay. Ah, uh, that would be the fourth land for Coco. But I do have plenty of draw power, too. Let me see if I can dig for more relevant spells. This is the Angel deck. I'm gonna go out and limb and say it's the Angel deck. Okay. Merfolk, in case it weren't obvious enough. Alright. Okay. 
that is a surprisingly cheap way to just draw a card. Uh oh. Yeah, it'd be nice though if I could find another land, he says as he obviously threw it away earlier. Okay. I don't want to risk it. Yeah, let's do it. Alright. They're probably going to have a much stronger endgame than I will. Alright. Okay, gaining a lot of life. Yikes. Uh, that's not great. Oh! Oh man. Much left game, so wow. Yeah. I should have played Trickster instead. I should have held Trickster up for this very reason. Ah, crap. Well, we can still manage to go big. No, I need to wait. I just gave the reason why I need to wait. The beginning of each end step. Oh no you don't. Oh no you don't. Alright. No more angels, please. For the love of God, no more angels. Okay, that actually hurts the double Coco in hand. Yeah, we're in trouble, folks. I have a sneaking suspicion I just cost myself the game there. What is this? Okay. Jeez. Okay. Uh, nope, they got me. Unfortunately, there was not a way that I could have gotten out of that. Yeah. I'm Maybe I was still would have lost, probably still would have lost it, but... Yeah, that's what I get. Oh well. Alright, keep it going. Well, that's two down. I really did jinx it, didn't I? <laughs> Alright. Five more. Cinco mas. Through. Can we get through? Th through. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can keep this. Oh, it's an Amori deck. Watch it be all creatures. Yep, okay, Ancient Ziggurat, it's all- Oh. No. Why have you forsaken me? Oh, hi, Muxus. Goblin, yep. Uh-oh. Hi, Warchief. Uh-oh. Hi-ya. Well, okay. In that case, do I want to use Silvergill, or would I like to use Trickster instead, on their upkeep? Yeah, let's do Trickster instead. Alright. Play it out. Yeah, you got it. Hopefully this will deprive them of just a little bit of tempo. And then I can play Reedry out, and use Reedry Trickster to tap down creatures before their combat. Okay. Ugh. No. Stop. Alright, it doesn't have haste. Not that it matters here. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess it's early enough I can get away with putting out Regery here. Give them a turn with it. Next turn's going to hurt. Oh, uh-oh. Hey. Not bad. 
Not bad at all. I am certainly appreciative of the fact that they don't have too many cards. Though I have four cards left. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. I also like that this gives them removal and an Emori. Ah, uh, okay. Oh boy. It has haste naturally anyway. What is this? Ringleader. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Well, we missed our land drop. Hmm. Jade Light? <sighs> they don't have a Lord out yet. They're about to play a Ringleader out quickly, though. Probably shouldn't have done that. Alright, there we go. Merfolk. Alright. I'm actually going to wait. Now that we have Coco, I can afford to play a little bit more patiently. Alright, as expected. They were going to do that anyway. Oh. Scare Mr. Tao. Okay. Haste. Makes sense. Huh. Okay. This is... At this life total, that's fairly easy. Okay, here goes. Let's see what I have before I play a Coco. That's not ideal. I can instead go Silvergill, Reveal, Trickster. Alright, and that's a Regery. Get out of there. Alright, pass turn. Uh, it doesn't matter too much. I guess we'll use Trickster on Warchief because it also grants haste. Both it and Prospector are going around. Alright. There we go. Let them draw their card. Though, watch them have the other Lord. Plus one, plus one in haste. Or Siege Gang. Interesting. And they don't have the mana to throw it at anything yet. Alright, well I guess I need to get my lords down now. Pronto. Okay, so things I can use for that. I have Coco, which I can try to use on my opponent's turn for yet another trickster. I don't know if I'm feeling lucky. I can use Regery. But I have to play defense here, don't I? Oh boy. Yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, one issue with doing it on my opponent's turn is I give them the chance to... Yeah, we'll do this now. I give them the chance to fire off the Siege Gang Commander. Alright, here goes. Water Trap Weaver... Biomancer? As many cards as I have in hand, but I have... Uh, we'll take Speaker, actually. Alright. Tap down... Doesn't really matter, actually, for any of these. It does incentivize them to sack the Warchief, though if they have to sack something to Prospector, since it's tapped down anyway. Oh! Hey, buddy! And then they might as well play out the Instigator? Okay. Hmm. Alright. Start lobbing them. Had I played the Regery instead, it wouldn't have changed all that much, unfortunately. Uh, because the Regery gets shot first, and then they can shoot the others. 
It's not much, but they are dwindling their own forces to do this. Is that really how they meant to tap? So they play Goblin Instigator that puts out two more power on board with haste. One, two, three, five, seven, eight. Yikes. As long as they don't mind something getting killed by Trickster. And that's something being Siege Gang Commander. Oh, putting Imori in hand. Maybe. No, no, they're not. They're doing Siege Gang. Again. Whale. Whale there, fella. Whale there. Alright. Reveal. Regery. Ah, this really doesn't change much. If I play Branch Walker and I get lucky and I find another land, then I can play Branch Walker Adept. Sure, why not? At this point, I need something like that to save me. That doesn't save me, though. Okay, we'll just have to live with a Biomancer. Yeah, we'll keep it, though. Okay. Yeah, that was definitely the wrong revelation. Oh! Okay. Alright, so... I'm... dead. They can shoot more two goblins at me and I'm dead. Well, I definitely hit 40 lands, but I kind of would like to end it on a high note, so I might keep playing. Especially since I just lost two in rank, so I'm going to be back to where I started in silver. Hey, this is what happens, though. Goblins is a good deck. I do appreciate that this is a significantly better version than the the tribal structure decks, the dual decks. Oh, okay, wait a minute. I'm not back to where I started. I still have one. Okay, I'll play one more. Okay. Here goes nothing. And that's enough for another pack, too. After I... Okay, one more win and I'll open a pack. Uh, oh. Something I should be doing more often is trying to hold myself up on my arms. Just... It's not a workout, but it's better than doing nothing. Well, I guess do it for long enough and it is a workout. Just mar do it. Yes. Rate my tag, 10. Uh-oh. No, this is fine. On the play, this is fine. I can live with this. Alright, here goes. Uh, Miss Binder's good. We'll make it work. We will make it happen. Whew. Okay. Play the island next, so they might, just maybe, think I'm on the explore deck. Oh, okay. Well, now they see a Temple of Mystery. Yeah, no, they have to know what I'm on then. The Explore deck is usually Golgari instead. Uh, there's no point in killing this. It can just come back from the grave anyway. Play another creature. Okay, that's fine. Uh-oh. What do you do again? And at least two other creatures attack. Uh, I may wish to play the Trickster instead. So otherwise, this is going to get a little silly on the board. Ooh. Well, there is that fourth land for Coco. So we'll keep it, actually. Alright, huzzah. And they let it through, as expected. In turn. Alright. Heliod. Ooh. Let's do this before Heliod resolves. I don't like where this is going, though. I don't like where this is going at all. 
You better not attack. If they do, it'll just be with Sacred Cat. And then Cat puts a counter on one of these. I have Coco, but I'm actually tempted to play two Lords out. Just try to rush that down as quickly as I can. This is pretty close to the devotion they need, though. One more and I'm in trouble. Yep, yeah, there it is. So whenever you gain life... Um, yeah, let's just do it. Puts it on the Warden. Or the Marshal, I don't know. Okay. Alright, cat's out of the bag. I think it's safe to do this now. Okay. And then they just throw counters on Warden now? Because the Warden can actually block? Choose wisely. Okay. I don't have all that much of a choice, but it does give me more power on board than it gives them. Oh! Very interesting. Alright, so if they can get Heliod online this next turn, they'll be able to attack with Marshall. Like, if they, yeah, they'll have three creatures after that. So, one comes from Sacred Cat, then they play another creature, a Selfless Savior. Ah, oh, crap. There we go. Yep, Heliod can attack. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we are in a heap of trouble, folks. It's a very technical magic term. A heap of trouble. This is 15 coming at me. We can still do this. No, we can't. Uh, who has lifelink? Neither of you. Okay. We can do this, but... Heck. Uh, okay, there's a Trickster. So if I play Trickster, I can turn off one of their creatures for a turn. So I can go Jade Light. Yeah, let's go Jade Light. Gives them a counter. Alright, see what I get. Okay. Now I like dividing them up like that. Regery is fine. Library, library. Don't let me forget to put a stop on my upkeep so I can get that out. Um, and then pass, I guess. I think is right. This is this is tough. All right, passing right along. Okay. And this should be attacking, right? No, it isn't. Hi, Sacred Cat. Okay, back to 20. They're in a good spot, I would say. Okay, good. They put on the marshal. Wow. Okay, I don't have Tempest Collar in this deck, so now I don't think I can win. If I had Tempest Caller, I could. No, no, I still couldn't, actually. Alright. How do I get out of this? How does Merfolk get out of this? Alright, so obviously we do this. Go here. Although the music changes for just that moment. Okay. Whenever it would like. Anytime now. I'm sure that, well, the trick is Heliod, right? They have open mana for Heliod. Oh, boy. 
Yeah, that thing about wanting to end it on a high note, I may have to play another game after this. Alright. Good. Alright, now how are you doing attacking? If I manage to squeak out here, I will not, but if I somehow manage to... Yeah, just Heliod, right? With a just Heliod, you can't win this turn. Which is okay for them, they're in a good spot. They're in a really good spot, actually. Okay, that makes more sense. Alright. Let's see. Can trade here. It's a have to. Oh boy. That's my biggest hitter, though. I can't. No, I can't win from here. I'll still play it out, though. I would like to be wrong. I would like to be shown to be wrong somewhere. Yeah. Get out of here, dude. Get out of here. What are you doing? Alright. So, thinking. They have three creatures left. If I go collect a company, rejury. Yeah, let's, let's try it. Yeah. Resolve. Double rejury. And there's a trickster. So, if I did. Yeah, let's do double reachery. Please be a merfolk. Please be a merfolk here on top. Because I just gave up a trickster. But I need that power. <sighs> Please be a Coco. Oh no, actually that wouldn't turn on... It doesn't matter, I'm out of mana for Coco. But that wouldn't turn on... Oh, actually only Kumena Speaker and Benthic Biomancer will even tap anything down at this point. Oh boy. Alright, I don't think that was the right choice, because now if I do find a merfolk, which I did, uh, then I can tap down the biggest one. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay. There we go. Tap down you. Tap down... what? You don't have lifelink. You do, so tap down you. Alright, here goes. Now they put them on Soul Warden. And now I lose. But even though I lose, that was a fun go. That was a fun go at it, folks. 18, yeah, 28. If they just let it all through, then they're fine. If they don't let it all through, they're still fine. <laughs> And now that now they got it, I I had to make them do it, and it's gone. Rip, rip. One more, one more. I got it. Whoa, oh, the lights bouncing off the mirror it makes me look like I'm playing Tribal Angels or something. I imagine that's probably not too good for the camera itself. I would think. I'm sorry, folks. Malmark 15. Okay, once I get one more win, we're good. I will still keep. I, I'm on the draw, and I have Silver Gill, and I have two Lords. This, this seems okay. <sighs> That's alright. It is a grindy, grindy deck. Ooh, okay. Well, they take... Actually, you do take the Silver Gill here, don't you? I would think... Yeah, okay. I agree. Yeah. Which is... Uh-oh. Yeah, they found it. So even Trickster isn't going to do me a whole lot of good. I mean, I'll play it out. Okay. Yep. 
comes right back. <laughs> Unfortunately, they did find the combo. Ooh. Um, you know what? I'll actually do it now. Try to preserve my life total as much as possible. And I have a second one and some redries if they play something else. Which I'm sure they will. Woe Strider. Okay. Man. Hmm. Here we go. What you doing? Okay, just block with the goat and then scry. Yep. I can live with that. Alright. Whee! Ah, here we go again. Here we go, here we go, here we go again. Hmm. I am decently susceptible to claim the firstborn as well, unfortunately. That is something about which I have to be a little concerned. Oop, get out of the way. Bip. Bibbidi bop. Boop. How are we doing? Gilded goose. Yep, the goose is loose. And there's another oven. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, I found green mana. We have to fire it off. That's unfortunate, but it's true. We do, we do. Alright. Hiya. Block with familiar, and then... Next turn we'll be able to tap something down. Hoorah! And they just keep coming. Well, the cats keep coming and they don't stop coming. Alright. Yay! Alright. That's... I'm looking awfully low here. Awfully low indeed. Uh-oh. Oh no. Uh-oh. Okay, so I'm at a virtual six. Um, I could play the, another Regery out. I think if I do, I'm pro I'm in a decent shape to win, assuming they don't kill it. But Collected Company might help as well. Yeah, let's try Collected Company. It lets me use my mana more efficiently, but also getting two car- Oh! I mean... Sure. Break through that. Alright. Sack it, get it out again, block with it, sack it. Alright. Yeah, this is, this is a little bit silly. <laughs> Not going to lie, this is a little silly. One of the weaknesses is that, unfortunately, not having Reachery means I can't tap it down, but even if I did tap it down, they can sack it and then use it to block after they get back. Hmm. Okay. Oh, hi! That's pretty easy. Alright. Yay, there we go. Alright, at this point, I think it's probably in their best interest to play defense. If they attack with Woe Strider, I will block with Mistbinder, and then they either have to... Well, they won't sack the Woe Strider to Oven. 
Yeah, it's probably better to just play defense. They have inevitability at this point. Alright. Swing in with the team. Alright. Okay, here goes. Foods take two to sack since they have that extra food lying around. Alright, see if I can get there. Or they could make another food token, but that, that wouldn't make sense. Or that's exactly what they're doing, actually. Okay. Interesting. I, I would have thought it would make more sense to pop a food token since they have an extra one. Okay. A little bit unusual. Okay, so they get out the familiar again, go to three, I go to five. They have two ovens, so they can sack familiar, get it back, sack familiar, get it back. I'm at three. One attack, I have to block with Regery. Oh, they didn't get familiar back on their turn, so they can't attack with it. Oh, wait a minute, am I, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead here. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm not going to make them go through the motions. That is a... That is an intensive deck to play. But basically, at that point, they can sack a food token to get familiar back, sack familiar to get a food token, keep doing that enough times, and I'm dead at that point. Uh, so let's see. And every time familiar comes in, I dra it drains one. Whenever something gets sacked, Mayhem Devil hits me for one. So I was, I was dead there. I was doing so well, I had a streak going, and then I decided I had to keep playing. That's alright. Hi, Tauros. I've played you before. Uh, not just in Gen 1, but on here. Competitive Gen 1 with Tauros. Uh, AKA the team captain. Unless you're playing Uber, where it's always Mewtwo. Till death. <sighs> okay. So play out the speaker. Next turn I can decide if I want to play another speaker and then a tap land or just the misfinder. Or uh Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I think it's better here to Hmm. I don't know actually. It's a Castle Ardenvale. Yeah. Hi, Hinterland Harbor. I don't need any more lands at this point. Alright, and that buffs it. Hi, yeah. Alright. So if I play Regery before Mistbinder, I'll be. Oh, God. Not a. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, all we can do at this point is just hurry. Dude. Alright, do they have nine lives? If they do, they win. I cannot beat nine lives, unfortunately. They have another solemnity. I don't think that two does them any extra, unfortunately. Okay. Um, three. So I need, in order to kill them this turn, I need collected company into two lords, I believe. Because otherwise, I'll be one shy. So let's go for it. One, two. Got him. Got him. <laughs> why be luck? Why be good when you can be lucky? All right, I'm done for right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been an hour and a half, not quite, almost. I'm done for a bit. The deck got to show off what it does, and it's still a better showing than last time by a substantial margin. Okay, and that's it. I will open another pack first, actually. There we go. Takes about the same amount of time as going through the menu normally. Alright, see what it ends up being. What card will I get this time? 
Okay. Um... It would have helped against that Umboreal rights. I guess if I'm playing Human Tribal, then there we go. Otherwise, nice to have another of you, and nice to have another of you, and nice to have another... Okay. Alright, that's it for now. Take care, Magic Community. I will see you all later. Bye-bye!